It seemed that the direct week that seemed the the can't seem to stop. Here is a new week, the Nintendo Direct Week, and we'll be talking about this Direct Week. So the Direct opens up with the final trailer of DLC's past character, revealed to be Rimu Hayuki from the Taihu Tohu Project series, comes out in late February. Someone did say in the way in the comments that Tohu it does have a pretty weird license. So it has to be a pretty weird character to put in Smash Bros, but there have been weeks. It's a pretty, you know, surprise character because there's not many weeks, it's de it defies all the weeks. Spooky Storm Scales, Mantis, and AC coming to the Switch, Kamel, Hospital, DLC. It's an ESOP exclusive. Never heard of this game, but, you know, there's might have Rabble VR, so but due to Rabble being marketed towards Young Soldier, Unsung Weekly, comes out in spring. A new update coming to Splash Ultimate, Target Splash will be coming back. It will have exclusive states for each title like Melee, 100% mode will be added. So Target Splash is coming back. So, after popular demand, Super Mario Party will be getting a free update, include a new board. I think adding more boards will be more important than adding Metal Mario, just to be honest. I'd say based off New York Stoop Sonic City and Super Mario Odyssey. It will also add four new characters, Power in Metal Mario, Boto, Dry Bowser, and comes out on February 10th. Pikmin 3 is getting pulled to the Switch as well, so come on May. Well, Nintendo is developed basically just like some firmware updates and stuff, but then it goes down here. Come down here, okay. Right. So, my RC2 is getting two new DLC packs. I don't mind split this up in two weeks. Expand on existing city items, Cloud Cannon, Rude Cannon, Cloud Command, Rude and Rex. Both of these will contain. Why well, now? Doesn't make any sense because Wario does not make a sequel to my RC. Doesn't make any sense. At all, as a plane and ruined cameras called Haunted Flower Cloudy. Basically, that's new sound for my Odyssey. Mario 3D World is being poured to the Switch. And I need two new characters, Mario and Waluigi. Hopefully, that is a real thing instead of adding you know, to told that doesn't get have pizza in the game. You know, no, no one really likes pizza at all, okay? You know, besides that terrible Bowser that meme, nobody cares about pizza, okay? Pizza is a largely forgettable character, okay? You know, and Dark Realms was the greatest Mario characters. I don't think people talk about Pizza as a, you know, great Mario character, okay? Mario has a sword draft and Wild Weezy has a diving boost over the 3D Mario games. Which means Wild Weezy would be finally getting being, being, or finally being a proper Mario game. Wild Weezy get a proper appearance. So, Orange Box is being pulled to the Switch. Nothing. It, 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 it would be shocking, but, you know, it would be cool. So, you know, this is something that, you know, I think people would expect Battle for Neighborhood because it's a pretty easy game to put on the Switch. It's a cartoony game, you know. Two Nintendo developers have come out and have, a, and basically, it was another thing. Paper, Paper Mario, Files in Your Door, Refolded comes out basically, you know, about by twenty twenty release date. So that might be the big holiday release date as well because Mario, you know, uh, you know, Mario Paper Mario is something that people have been wanting for a long time. And that's basically it about this week. Goodbye.